Okay, we're gonna take a look at polyploidy. Uh, you've seen this in a previous video, but we're just adding a little bit more to it with the new syllabus as well too. So speciation means uh, creation of a new species, and this can happen in many different ways, and different scientists will debate about what needs to happen in order for a group to be considered a new species. So they can be separated by geographic isolation or behavioral isolation, you know, certain animals not responding to signals being sent by other animals, and therefore they don't mate in under natural circumstances, then scientists might say, okay, I think they're different enough to call them different species. Well, here's another way. This word polyploidy should sound familiar because you know the words diploid and haploid. Diploid meaning 2n, we'll see up here in a second, and haploid meaning n. We know that gametes are n and uh, body cells or somatic cells are 2n. The magic numbers for humans are 46 and 20, oops, 23. 23 sperm cells, 23 chromosomes, sorry, in a sperm cell match up with 23 chromosomes in an egg cell to produce uh, the zygote, which starts with 46. And then all of our body cells come from that as well, too. So looking at the prefix here which is useful for all kinds of biological terms if we put the word the prefix poly into this ploidy then we end up with a condition where organisms contain more than two homologous sets of chromosomes and this can happen in lots of different types of organisms including the ones that are pictured right here um, if you have three copies of each chromosome it's called triploid four is tetraploid so on so forth pentaploid hexaploid and actually the combining and recombining of all these different combinations of, of sets of chromosomes, usually through errors, it's not intentional, but through these mitotic errors will actually produce technically new species. Even though they may only be using the instructions from very few of these chromosomes, but actually the extra copies, which causes the polyploidy, by definition, is a way to lead to a new species as well. And you should know that uh, non-disjunction can lead to errors. In humans, obviously non-disjunction, the most famous case of non-disjunction is when the chromosomes don't separate properly during either anaphase one or anaphase two, which results in extra chromosomes ending up in the gametes. And obviously, although 46 is the famous number for humans, some kids can be 47 and that's usually because of an extra copy of the 21st chromosome. So technically for people who have Down syndrome, you could say that the 21st chromosome with three copies of that would be a form of triploid, triploidy, I guess you could say for something like that. But uh, these terms are usually reserved for when every chromosome has multiple copies, uh, more than uh, two copies. So here's a famous one, Ophioglossum reticulatum. I love saying these genus species names. This dude is actually 84 ploid. I don't think there's a word for that. Tetraploid is four copies. We got five copies. You have six copies. How do you say 84 copies? Uh, 84 ploid. I don't know. There must be a Latin way to say that, but that's too much to think about. Um, I've added this right here because the new syllabus has uh, added, asked us to understand this type of flower. It's from the Allium genus. And uh, just as a specific, exa a specific example of polyploidy, their diploid number is 16. And uh, if you double that or we go to tetraploid, you end up with 32 chromosomes. Okay, that's tetraploid. If you have a diploid gamete, actually combining with the tetraploid gamete, then you get the intermediate in between, which would be triploid. So anyways, by making new combinations through polyploidy, most of them are unintentional. They just happen. They don't result in the organism not developing because all the genes needed for development are still there. There's just extra copies of those genes, but it creates these new combinations. And bottom line is, Polyploidy means instant speciation, and I think that de de deserves a super highlighting, fantastic zoom up, close up, beautiful. Polyploidy means instant speciation.